So now we have created the collection and added the document to it. So let's display the data at the search box sort by and the pagination. And you have to use this uh, ID attributes for the search box, which is just a search input. And for the sort by div, which is a group element and the pagination, which is also a group element. So let's see how to do that. So the first thing that you need to do is to select the type sense connector. And let's fill out uh, all the requirements over here. So the first thing is the collection name, which will be movies. And the search only API key. Nodes host, which is this part. And the uh, port will be 443. TPS, which are, this is the port and this is the protocol. And we will query by the title, title and genre. And the items per page, which will be how many items should uh, TypeSense uh, render within uh, one page. So let's make it just 20 for now. And the sort by label, let's make the first one as the default. The second one will be low rating. And the third one will be the high rating. So we will sort we will be sorting by the default which will be the best match to the title and the genre and then we will sort by the highest scores IMDB scores and the uh, the lowest uh, scores of IMDB scores and the highest scores So how to do that we need to first add the collection name for the default and the second one will be as you see here so you first add the collection name backslash and sort and imdb score ascending so let's use this again here so we will do the second one as descending and if you want to look at the type sense documentation here for the sort by to see descending and ascending and much more uh, information about this part. So we have filled out everything that we need for the type sense connector. So let's just adjust the size. Now let's create the first thing, the repeating group that will be displaying all the data. So the first thing that we need to do it uh, let's make it a column uh, like this and let's make the type of content will be text and it will be collected from the type sense collector connector and then here let's make the height 500 and this 110 so so what do we need to display here so we need to display the title and we need to display the genre To display the score or the ratings and we need to display the poster of the uh, movie so let's add an image here line the bottom to the middle so. 
So now if we try to display everything, you will see nothing. So how to display the data from TypeSense now? So, so now we need to um, show the data from TypeSense. So we need to select the TypeSense field reader. Let me just add it over here, for example. Uh, let's make this. So the first one will be field name. Let's do the title. So this will be title reader. The fourth one will be the poster reader. And let's group them in a row. And Let's make this group as text current cells text. Make sure of that. And then over here, we will just say print group text. Print group text. And now let's display the values that are coming from the TypeSense plugin reader uh, on these elements here. So the first one, let's say the title, the title reader, the text value, and then the genre, This will be the IMDB score. And this will be the poster. So here, the genre, but since the genre was a string array or a list of text, then we will not use the text value, we will use the string array. And now the score will be um, score reader number value. And let's just copy this. And this will be a text value because it's the link of the image. Okay, let's display it and see what we will see. So, as you see, nothing is shown here because we need to set the search box, the sort by, and the pagination for this. So, let's add a group that will hold the search box and the sort by div as a row like in the middle let's choose an input over here and we need to add an id attribute to the search input so we use this one And let's add a div, which is basically a group element over here. And let's just make it more visible. 
And this will be where the sort by uh, element shown. So we need to add the sort by ID here. And let's also add the pagination. So let's add a group beneath this. Let's make it your block. There we go. And add the ID attribute called pagination. So let's have a look now. We're going to see how it looks like. So now the image is not showing, but as you see, it is already working. But let's see why the uh, image element is not showing. So, ah, okay. So this needs to be the poster reader text value. And this needs to be invisible, so let's make them let's say ten by ten, and so now we are displaying how many. Uh, items within the page. Um, let's go to the connector of type sense. You see, so it's only twenty. Let's make it two hundred and forty. See how this will look like. Let's try the pagination. Let's try searching by genre. So drama, 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 drama. And let's search by title, for example. Father. Batman. So it is already working. So what else we need to we need to add this uh, HTML element, which which will hold the um, the CSS needed to adjust and modify the sort by element and the um, pagination. So let's have a look here. This is my custom sort by my custom sort by select and sort by options are the ones who are controlling this uh, sort by div CSS. And then the pagination is controlled by this element here. Okay. So with a bit of like just uh, searching within YouTube on how to modify the CSS, you can do whatever you want with the uh, how the pagination and the sort by look like. And that's it. You have now um, TypeSense working and connected to your bubble app.